Welcome again to my workshop. Today we are going to do a two and a half D cut on the CNC router and we're going to make a child's toy. We're going to make a Land Rover Defender. It's going to be about 450 mil long and about uh, two, about 200 mil high, something like that. Um, and I hope you like it. It's going to be made um, a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle where it's, it's put together in quite a few sections and um, this okay for the first job what I've done I've cut out two panels which are um, 500 by 250 um, which is close to the size of each side of our Land Rover and what I've done I've I've um, set up the cut in two different programs. So first of all, we're going to cut the windows out in each section. So that's what we're going to do right now. the windows cut out. Slight little problem I see that uh, between these two windows here this piece that I wanted left has just flaked the, the top layer of the lam laminate um, or ply on both on both of them so um, I'm gonna have to patch that up a little bit maybe nothing really to worry about. Okay no. so now what so we're going to do we're going to cut the, um, the, the both sides out now of the Land Rover. router uh, is a 6090 which means it's 600 millimeter working envelope across the machine and 900 millimeters in the Y down the machine now and you can see this black area is roughly the full area that the machine will machine now, the piece of material that I put on here is 900 by 
1200. Now that is the working envelope of the new machine that I'm having delivered in about two weeks time. So you can see it's much bigger and it's in actual fact it's a quarter sheet that it will um, machine the whole area. Uh, the next interesting point that I want to show you with NC Studio uh, is sending the uh, machining head or the spindle to the home position and uh, putting it into the area where it's easy to change a tool um, automatically. Now that is done through you select operation and come down here and select move to reference point which brings up this window now you can either select each individual axis or select all axes that will automatically move slowly <laughs> But you can let the machine get on with it and you can carry about carry on about your business doing something else. And you will notice as it sets the reference point the machine coordinates all turn to zero and you have the symbol up here that tells you that the machine is now zeroed to the home position and it's set. So now it's in a very convenient place for me to change the tool. I don't know whether you can see her. So now it's in a very, very convenient place for me to change this tool. Uh, this incidentally is a 6mm ball mill. I find cutting out um, plywood or MDF or something like that far better with a ball mill than what it does with a flat end. Okay, so I've, I've marked out on my piece of work uh, where the centre of um, the part that I want cut out, uh, which in this um, instance it is the one of the outside inner parts of the Land Rover which incorporates the seats and um, uh, the back compartment and the engine compartment. So take the Z down okay so we just zero the X Y and Z now X Y and it's as easy as that with the uh, pendant. enjoyed that segment of this video. Um, unfortunately I've had to split it up into two videos because there's too much information um, regarding CNC routing um, and actually putting it together. So 
Uh, I've split this up to two videos, so I hope you enjoy this first and I one. I hope you join me for the second video. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video, press like, subscribe to my channel, and the red box down there. I hope. Um, you press on that, that'll take you to my YouTube channel where there's information on CNC routing, uh, the programs that run CNC routers and uh, the design programs like at camp. Also I do quite a bit of wood turning and shop jobs around here and uh, also make a bit of furniture. I think there's something there for everyone. So uh, until next time, bye for now. Thank you.